Uh, shut the fuck up. Why does our background keep fucking up? God damn it. Okay. Hello and welcome everybody to a new video. I'm sorry, I look like this. I just put eye drops in and my eyes are going. <laughs> R.I.P. headphone users. Um. <laughs> Rip. So sorry, today... I'm not stoned. I don't do drugs. Disclaimer. God damn it. I literally am having some fucking allergies or some shit like that. So yeah, hi. So today is a very special, um... Video. Video. Okay. We, as most of you in the U.S. know... If you don't um, know this, I don't know where the fuck you've been. You're probably Amish. <laughs> or, or living under a rock. Shit, even the Amish know about this. Um, anyway, We're just a little so... Into the game. So basically, we have news that happened over the weekend that gay marriage is now legal in all 50 states. Oh, wait, 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 you better say same-sex marriage or otherwise people's gonna get mad. Same-sex marriage. <laughs> same-sex marriage, gay marriage, whatever. Yeah. People can it, get married now. There's equality. It's, it's fucking awesome. And let me state right now, if you live in a state here in the U.S. that tries to give you shit for it, tell them they can fuck off. Learn your rights, know your rights. It is legal as handed down by the fucking Supreme Court of the United States of America. They are issuing marriage licenses now. There are places um, like Texas it, trying to give people shit. Yeah. Um, and frankly, Texas is fucking stupid. <laughs> Just flat I, out. Really, just want the, sta the, the state government is just stupid. Um, and what's funny is I said years ago that Texas would be the last state to legalize gay marriage, but I got proven wrong because they all the ones that aren't legal got legalized at once. So <laughs> there's not really a last state for it. So right. um, it's fucking hilarious. I. I'm super excited because, as most of you probably know by now, if you've watched um, previous I'm gay. Videos. I'm, I'm gay. My um, bestie so. is gay and single. So. Just saying. Wrong side. Single. Single. Just saying. Ignore the notebooks in my background. There's always notebooks in my background. Shut up. Um. So that's you know, that is what it is, and I'm really excited that you know marriage equality has finally passed. And um, honestly, I'm straight. I like dick. I'm a female and I like dick, but I am so fucking happy that this has finally come to pass. And I'm, I couldn't be more excited. I'm excited for my best friend. I'm excited for peop everybody who gets to have the same fucking rights as us shitty straight people. Well, I wouldn't say straight people are shitty. I mean, well, not all of them anyway. Not all of us, but I mean... I mean, there's, there's some. I mean, you gotta think about how many straight people actually are shitty, considering how long it took for this to happen. Yeah, but it's not really the straight people's fault, it's more the... Okay, before I say this... <laughs> um... Disclaimer, I am not against religion. We are not against religion, just don't shove it in our face. Religion is a good thing for some people. Not um, to and the Westboro it... Baptist Church, they need to sit well, the fuck down. As long as you think for yourself, mm. and you don't blindly follow your religion, that's good. Um, but, in my opinion, the reason that gay marriage has been illegal so long is because of the religious zealots in the country that seem to think that just because I like dudes, I'm going to hell. Which, I mean, really? How many goddamn things... I said goddamn, haha. <laughs> That was actually unintentional. I don't care though, honestly. How many things are in are sh are are illegal by the Bible standards, and people still do them? Now I will say, there's another disclaimer here. Um, I'm not Christian. Jesus and I, Jesus and I decided to see other people a whole long time ago. <laughs> um, but I made that decision because. Christianity wasn't right for me because I didn't see the reason to stay in a religion that hated me. Exactly. I, you know, and now, yeah, another disclaimer. I know that not all denominations of Christianity are against gay marriage or same sex marriage. 
Um, and for those of you who are part of a church that is accepting of that, I thank you. More power and for you. Good for you. Um, but for the others, go fuck yourself. You know, I I lived live in a relatively rural area, and I went to a high school in a relatively small town that was full of religious people that said that I was going to hell for being gay, and you know. Um, and that's not your decision. Yeah, and my my thing is. Your gods are supposed to be benevolent and loving, and if everyone's created, and who gives? Oh wait, let me finish. If everyone's supposed to be created in God's image, don't you think? Did you ever start to think for one second? Hey, God put said person that you're hating on in this world too, so maybe you should look at yourself before you talk shit to others. And frankly, who? What gives you the right? To say that I'm going to hell or not. Exactly. You're not God. And, and, and frankly, Jesus preached love mm-hmm. and compassion and judge not lest ye be judged. And he who is out without sin cast the first stone. And I'm so, sorry, is that a tattoo I see under your robes, Mr. Beastman? Those are illegal. But in God's yeah. eyes, supposedly. Hell. In Leviticus, which is where most of these people say that, you know, the passage against gays is from, it says that a woman on her menstrual cycle must burn all of her belongings and live separate from her rest of her family because she is unclean. Do you see people burning everything they own because they're on their period? Really? I'm sorry, that is that is just some pure and simple misogyny right there because... People, people constantly like to forget that the Bible's written by men in ancient times. And yeah, it, it, it was not written eyes. by God. It was not written by God, which people like to think. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't know that God ran a textile and, and, company. You know, but it's all... You've also got to think that the Bible has been interpreted multiple times over the years. And rewritten multiple times. And, and, and rewritten. And translations, if you go to Google Translate... Oh my god, Google Translate is a fucking nightmare. Now imagine that across four different languages at least. Over and think how about many it. centuries? Exactly. Think about it. How far from the original text do you think what we're reading is? Meanings of words in different languages are different. Exactly. If there's one mistranslation, it changes the entire meaning of a passage. Mm. Like... Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, my eyes are bothering me, like, really bad. I forgot that sometimes after it, when my eye drops in, my eyes start burning. I don't think that's good. Also, I'm gonna disclaimer right now for my fucking eyebrows. Yes, I'm just claiming, putting a disclaimer on my goddamn eyebrows. They are ridiculous. I don't pluck them. I don't make them look like this. This is just how they fucking look. So I constantly look like I'm plotting something. Um. I almost hit my phone. So I'm going to divert this topic back. Sorry. Away from religion, because. Back to the awesomeness that is same-sex marriage being legal. Yay. Yeah, because you know that's what we're here to talk about. Exactly. Same-sex marriage is legal. Like, yeah, and you know, I, I I don't like to talk about religion because it just causes drama. It's well, and no matter how open-minded you are, somebody's gonna be angry by the end yeah, of it. Exactly. Somebody um, it, now I, I'm a spiritual person. I believe in different things, but I don't judge you for believing in Christianity. And if that's good for you, and you know you like that, go for it. More. I tell you, that's your path. Go. To a degree, I judge people for their religions, but let me state that the reason I judge them is not because of the religion themselves, but how they act and the things that they blame or use to excuse their actions by saying that their religion is against said thing or that, well, Jesus said this or God said this. Really? Did you talk to him? Do you have him on speed dial? I don't think you do. Um, but it, it's a great thing that is that, that same-sex marriage has been legalized. Now, 
if I found a boyfriend tomorrow and we dated for a couple of months or a year, couple of years and we decided we wanted to get married, we could. And that is an amazing thing. That is an astounding thing. When I was 16, when I came out, I thought that I might never get married. Or that I'd have to move to a state where it was legal. Because at that time, Hell, to a different there was... Country even. Or even to a different country. Because at that time, there was four or five states where it was legal, and that's it. And you had to live in those states for a certain amount of time and jump through all these hoops. And even right. then, it was very unlikely that you would get said things. The uh, marriage license. E exactly. And so, I mean, that's it's a fantastic thing. Now, people are able to go see their sick love spouse or however in the hospital without being said you're not fa being told you're not family because guess what yes the fuck they are now they're married and now what do you gotta say about that now that you can say now you can say this is my husband or this is my wife and whilst being of the same gender yeah and, and, and it's okay and it's not that it wasn't okay before it's just now it's now legal, and legally, yeah. they can't do shit. And, and, I, and I knew plenty of people who had the ceremony and didn't need a piece of paper, the, a piece of paper saying it. They, they were married because they had the ceremony in front of their family, and, mm -hmm. you know, it was what it was. But now, they're protected under the law. Exactly. And that's, that's fantastic. Side note, I'd like to state that I'm extremely sorry that with how much I play with my hair in videos. I'm sorry. And <laughs> I was reading an article oh. a couple of days before this ruling from the Supreme Court came out mm -hmm. that was telling about a, um, a man and his boyfriend with that he actually adopted his boyfriend as his son. Uh, it's so that he could um, have access to medical. him when he was in because he had he had a uh, a medical disorder ah. and he knew he was going to have to I think it might have been terminal um, or they thought it might have been and so they legally had they, he, he adopted it so that, that they could be in the hospital, you know, he so could come and visit. be considered family. And that's fucking ridiculous. That is insane to have to go through something like that just because people are bigots. And now, now, it's legal. Now and you don't have to claim the, that a man or a woman that is the same sex as you and the same age as you is your child. Not only that, but if you haven't watched the documentary Bridegroom yet, watch it. It will make you cry, but it is good. You're you're tearing up. I can hear it in your voice. Yeah. Um, and it's it's about a similar story. Who, um, Shane Bitney Crone, his boyfriend, passed oh, away. I think I know but this one. his parent, uh, his boyfriend's parents, would not let. Live didn't come to the funeral, oh would not let God, him yeah, um, visit him in the hospital. Um, and so now, nothing like that will ever happen again. And it'll be fantastic, and the world will be better for it. Because, A, this is something I've always said in my fight, you know, to try and help gay marriage to become legal and, you know, show my support and whatnot. If you think about it, the economy is going to have a massive fucking boost. The wedding industry alone. Exactly! And then, I mean, not that I wish divorce on anybody, but marriages fall through sometimes and blah, blah, blah. Some people get married for the wrong reasons, blah, 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 whatever. Fuck it. It happens. Lawyers are going to have a lot of money rolling in. Wedding registries and wedding department registries, stores. Departments, oh my god. Wedding dress companies, fucking textile companies who make the fabric to make wedding dresses, the fucking seamstresses who make the fucking wedding dresses, or the little fucking children in China who make the wedding dresses, because let's face it, shit happens. The economy is going to get a huge burst. Cake companies, fucking churches, and fucking... It's just better! 
Yeah, it is. It's better, and you fucking took so goddamn long to realize. You, the world, the U.S., whatever, took so fucking long to realize how much of a fucking good thing this actually is. But now that you have, I'm not. I'm not saying that you're in the wrong, not in the wrong still for taking so long. But hey, good fucking job doing something right for once. Because you know what? This fucking incident, this fucking thing, this fucking amazing breakthrough. For once in my life, made me proud to be an American. Not only that, and I had the thought the other night. Um, after. Sorry, you're you're uh, you got choppy for a second. Um, after the announcement, it, it was <laughs> it was a celebratory day in the house. Definitely. Um, but that night I was kind of sitting, like I do most nights, at my computer, doing stuff. And I thought about it, and... I think I had passed out already. No child that is born from June 26th of 2015 mm -hmm. onward will ever live in the United States where same-sex marriage was illegal. And that's going to be amazing. That's an astounding thought. That is a phenomenal... Because, think about it. Think about how many babies are born each day. Just, a just of each day, Jesus fuck. Just, just stop for a minute. And think about it. Think about it. Now think about all of those babies that grow up to be homosexual or lesbian. At least half. At least half. That will never have to wonder: Am I ever going to be able to get married? They won't have to suffer. With you know, being denied a basic human right. And, and even not dogs only that, can get married. Can they? Yeah. People have little fucking wedding ceremonies for their fucking animals all the time. Which I'm sorry, but legalizing people to fucking marry animals to other animals before that's, same sex marriage? USA, you still got problems. That's fucked up. Yeah. Um cool. I've seen the silly shit on YouTube, and honestly, I've seen it on YouTube, I've seen documentaries about it, it's fucking ridiculous, but at least same-sex marriage is now fucking legal. And another interesting thought. Think about all the 13 to, say, 16-year-olds who are starting to go through puberty and are questioning their sexuality and realizing that they might be gay or lesbian or bisexual. Now... And things just got a little bit easier. Yeah. Them. Things just got a little bit easier. Sure, there's still going to be homophobia. And, and it's there's gonna... still going to be bigotry. There's still going to be all these horrible things to face. But you know what? At the end of the day, they know when the time is right, they can marry the one they love. Yep. And that's and, an amazing feeling. And it, it won't matter if they marry a man or a woman, and if they're male or female. Um, it won't matter anymore. Because now it's okay. It's, it's, it is legally okay. That's just a fucking amazing, amazing it blows thing. Blows mind. I honestly, like I said, I'm straight. I admit it. I love dick. But when I, when I heard this, when I woke up to my Twitter being full of. Hashtag love wins and rainbow hearts everywhere and everything was amazing and I'm Literally being like choked on all this new information and not in a bad way. I like being choked sometimes this one. <laughs> when I found this out I cried I Fucking cried because I felt such goddamn relief a because my best friend can get married when he has a man in his life that deserves him you know, and and if my children ever turn out to be homosexuals, they don't have to worry about this, and I don't have to fight tooth and nail for my babies to be able to be married to the man that they love, if, if that happens. My friends who have gay children don't have to fucking suffer through this. They don't, it's just a huge collective sigh of fucking relief, and I could feel it in every single atom of my being. And, and it's amazing. And this is this is gonna sound a little, probably a little bit over dramatic, but I slept a little easier that night. I did too, honestly. Because 
I, I, I can't describe it. It was just... It was like something that was wrong with the world. Actually got fixed in the yeah. US. And that alone was a fucking mind fucking a half. Yeah. I and, know, and I'm getting teared up right now, oh my god. Mm. And, and don't get me wrong, there's still places in the world where it's not okay. And the Hell, things are Turkey. not- Turkey! Turkish yeah, but... police attacked pride, gay pride goers. Yeah, I, was, I just read about that actually. I and look at Russia. Oh, Russia. fucking Russia! Fucking fuck Russia! Our, our, our public, um, our <clears throat> fucking, um, relationship with Russia is probably gonna plummet now. But I don't give a shit. I, what uh, is Putin, 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 Putin? Russia. Putin can go fuck himself. Fucking Putin. Fucking Putin. When you have to commission, when you have such fucking penis envy as a man that you have to fucking have pictures of yourself shirtless riding a goddamn bear and holding a gun or whatever the fuck his stupid Russian ass does. Seriously, you have some fucking problems. You need to quit your shit. You need to fucking get a life. And honestly, seriously, there's medical treatments for this. Come to America. Hey, but you can't come to America because you're a fucking bigoted asshole and you hate gay people. And you know what? Keep your small penis. We Americans will keep enlarging our penises in ways that we can medically and whatever the fuck else ever. And you can just keep your tiny dick. I'm Over not in so Russia. sure. I'm not so oh, sure. This... I'm not so sure where this tangent has gone. I don't but, fucking um, know. I I in... hate goddamn Putin. Fucking. In bastard. summary. In summary, Putin can go fuck himself. <laughs> yeah, and in he summary, is... um. Gay marriage is legal now, so that's kind of amazing. Fuck yeah. Um, Same-sex marriage is legal, and it's amazing, and it's ah, uh, just ah. <laughs> and we will probably do a video at a later date addressing the LGBT use of the world, because you know, I I've always wanted to do a Nick Gets Better video, even though I'm not affiliated with the Trevor Project. Um. But yeah, that may be, that may happen eventually. Mm. I just thought about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, something that was not right with the world is right again, or uh, right. Honestly, I I'm not gonna lie. I've, I'm a massive pessimist in a lot of ways, and I come across as being upbeat and stuff. But when I get on tangents about things I hate or people I hate, Putin can go fuck himself. So I come my my pessimism and my you know other half comes out and and it's crazy and whatnot and I fucking come across as being very harsh but I'm abrasive and that's me but the thing is this vote this fucking victory for the US for people in the US this 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 phenomenal thing happening this this legalization of same-sex marriage and of love winning it became a thing where I just sat there and I was like, it does get better. Yeah. It can get better. Oh my God. And I think that's one reason I also cried because I've spent so many years of my life thinking that this world's never going to change. It's just going to be the same old endless waltz, constantly repeating its bullshit. But then this happened and I'm like, oh, oh, wow shit can change. Shit can get better. And it's not so shitty anymore. No. And that's it's... definitely a cleansing feeling. It is. And maybe after watching this video, maybe you guys will sleep a little bit better tonight. Like we did. Maybe you'll laugh yourself to sleep after my little rant. <laughs> yeah, that too. What's our time at? We are at 24 minutes and 27 seconds, so it's time to wrap up. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll, we'll wrap it up here. I think we've said what really needs to be said. Um, as always, comment and let us know what you want to see. Um, if you have any ideas for the channel or where you might like to see us go, unless you're going to tell us to go to hell, fuck you. And, and frankly, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of this crazy mixed up 
clusterfuck that we are trying to, to produce. Thank you. And subscribe. God damn it. <laughs>